Okay, hi guys, this is LDVVV0 and the game we are playing today is EVE Online. Yep, sorry that I did some stuff yesterday but for some reason the camera didn't record. Uh, um, yes, no, I did not, I did, for, I did turn it on, it just didn't record for some reason. Yeah, so, to, I did do um, a tutorial a bit of the tutorial actually and um but it's it's fine well right, today i'm going to be doing some other stuff um so yeah i hope you enjoy um okay i'm just looking at some stuff right now soon we're gonna undock Okay, that's a pretty good name. I need to change that. Sorry for the low quality. I'll I'll work on that. And also, I'm sorry that you can't see the things on the side. I'll also work on that as well. Okay, this project discovery thing. I, I don't even know what it's for. I'll, I'll probably find out later on. Okay, I'm just checking some stuff to see if the thing wants me to um, repair anything or stuff like that. Okay. And also I'm kind of new to the game so I'm also exploring some co components of it too. So... Okay. This here is a voice over, so um yet yeah, I'm going to start doing the voice is the voice live soon. It's just right now I'm just doing it voice over. Okay, so today we're going to be doing this mission. Fortress in the rocks. Okay, open wallet. Thank you for the innovation, Aura. Yeah, I'm kind of used to Aura just popping up on the screen now. She used to be right in the middle of the screen, which was really annoying. I moved her down to the corner so she doesn't annoy as much. Jesus, that's quite a lot of money. Better get more. Okay, undock. Finally, let's do this. I'm not aborting the undock. I don't need to do that. And yeah, I already clicked. Aura, you're a bit slow, you know. Not to rush, you can. Yeah, she's actually pretty slow. She shows up not like. To rush, you to location. Location. We should walk there immediately. Yeah, that's. Um, that's what I mean. She just kind of shows up a bit late, and then um, present Aura just tries to cut in as well. So yeah, don't mind that. Also, the resolution, not not just of the camera, the game resolutions a tad a tad bit off. So yeah, I might work on that as well. Okay, here we are. Ara, go away, bro. This info panel. Next time I play, everything will be a bit faster. Establishing warp vector. Okay, that's pretty cool. And I also love how it shows like the screen part at the bottom and it shows what you're doing. Sometimes it's annoying when it just shows your Corvette. And yeah. Oh no, we have to shoot these things again. I don't like this very much because sometimes, yeah, I'm going to adjust that. Um, the sensitivity of the mouse when I turn it, um, it just goes a bit off and yeah. Other than that, it's all right. But I'm starting to get the hang of it eventually. 
Oh no, it's actually, ac it, the thing actually shoots back this time. Oh. Railgun miss. Yeah, um, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of getting used to the fact that if your ship is not actually facing the thing, it will miss completely. So you have to um, approach it in order to begin firing directly at it. Because when you start to approach it, it you, your ship turns around as you can see and yeah eventually starts to um, get it correctly okay finally there we go oh wait what I think I hit it. I don't know. I don't even know. Go, go, go. I'm lining to a point in space. No, I don't do that. For the far tower. Oh yeah, we destroyed the first thing, yeah. Go away. From the oh wait, where is this thing? Um, let's just check in the direction of the shots. Oh no, this. Oh yeah, no. See what I mean about the mouse sensitivity? Okay, get it. Oh no, we locked it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so definitely adjusting the sensitivity on this thing. It just does not work out. <sighs> I have to eventually find this thing again and then start to um, approach it. No, no, don't orbit. Oh, oh well. I guess if this is what we have to do, it's what we have to do. An attempt, you know, to, to oh, okay, whatever. I hate this, honestly. And like I said, I'm kind of new to it too, so don't judge. Do not bully me. By the way, while I'm trying to control this spaceship thing, check out my Rubik's Cube videos about like how to solve Rubik's Cubes and stuff. My first um, ever video of a Rubik's Cube was pretty nubby. So, um, yeah, that one was all right, I guess. It was how to build a Rubik's Cube 3x3 or something. But yeah, be sure to check out those two. They're not great or amazing or anything, but... Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll have links to them in the comments down below. Okay, back, back to it. Finally trying to tr starting to get some hits on this thing. Um, almost, oh, almost gotten it down, I guess. These sentry towers. Okay, the thing with the approaching icon is it goes back and forth sometimes. Oh no, yeah, yeah, okay, sorry guys for what happened, but I accidentally pressed ESC, which, um, stops the, stops the video basically, and, um, yeah, so we, you might have not seen a bit. But in the end, we did actually, um, destroy that thing and then Aura told me to upgrade gunnery I'm sorry for the dis inconvenience but it is what it is mate I guess so 
So yeah, we're going to be waiting a couple of days for this to upgrade. Nine days as it says. Thank you Aura for um, notifying me or whatever you do. Our work here is done for now. Though I am certain oh, this is not the last we will hear of the drifters. Thank Though you. I am certain this they is do not so the last we will hear of the drifters. They do so like to wreak havoc. Oh, wait, I need to claim my reward. Thank you. <sighs> Hit a bit of problems with this bit. Ship stopping. Oh man. Starbase force field password? Oh my god. Small and shy, okay, jeez. There was something that you had to press so you can go back to the Science and Trade Institute. Not here. Oh my god. Oh well. I'll find it eventually. Now isn't it that that home thing? Yeah, sorry again that this is a voiceover, but it is that home thing, isn't it? No, no, don't turn away. It's up there. Okay. Whatever. I love how when you get to another system, it changes the star. Ah! The, the light is just too much. Yay, finally. We're going home. Let's walk. I don't even know what this unit of measurement AU is like. It's pretty weird. Okay, now we're back to kilometers. One there. We're definitely here because I know that that moon is this thing. We're back, guys. And I am pretty sure that eventually you can make your ship look like that or something. I'm not exactly sure but I think that's how it is this looks so Star Warsy yay we're in what you can get your own big ship thing well, that's I guess what I just said, but pretty cool. Yeah, that's what we're gonna try and find out now. Okay, whatever. Yeah, okay, we're not damaged. Because I thought we got damaged from that fight we had just then, but apparently not. Apparently I was wrong again. <coughs> Yay! I love how we're so fast, like 438 meters a second, that's, that's sick.
What a moon. It seems that they're mining the moon or something. Or they're navigating it? I'm not sure. I wonder if you can get on these planets, by the way. It seems that all these mining things, thingies, can <clears throat> get, make contact with planets, usually. I'm not an expert, but that's what it looks like. Aligning to a point in space. So yeah, this is kind of where I try to go far enough from this spaceship. And then I, f the, yeah, um, in attempt to make my own Corvette thing. A big spaceship of my own, kind of. Oh yeah, now in the second video, by the way, you can also see like the components on the left side of the screen as well. So that's pretty cool. You're moving so slowly. I'll just rope to the ast that rope warp to the asteroid belt. Also, this is my Corvette. Well, yeah, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but that's a pretty tiny thing. And I thought you said you can dock on a on your own Corvette. Does this mean you can dock on yourself? By the way, if you still want voiceover, then put it down below in the comments section of the video. If that's okay with you guys. slowly heading away from the Science and Trade Institute School. Okay, I think we're gonna warp now. Aligning. Warp drive active. Let's go. Warp drive active. Go. There we go. The asteroid belt, we're here. And also, if it's okay with you, also drop in how long you would like the um, Eve videos to be. The Rubik's Cube ones, they will be um, a custom length, whereas these ones I can change. It's another thing you can mention.
Okay, now it's time to find out what this project discovery is. Hello, Dr. Andrea Cossa Zero. Coronavirus? This novel corona, okay. So it seems that coronavirus is now in space too. As I mentioned, okay, cool. The laser, hmm. Okay, sounds simple. <clears throat> what does it mean start here? Oh, I must have not read something. Anyways. Oh, I love how the latitude and longitude symbols move on the side. Oh, is this a galaxy? And then it shows how How, what, what needs to be quarantined or something. Okay. Yay. Okay. There. Where's the next cluster? No cl no more clusters. Don't see any clusters. Hmm. Do you have to press on it? I'm not sure. Uh, probably not. Yeah, I'm done it. I don't click. No, no, whatever. Yeah, just, just do this for now. Uh, can't seem to build my own thing like this. I just stop looking at things in a tactical way. What a tiny ship. Approach. I like the um, turning animations as well. Yep, I honestly would recommend this to anyone who's interested in space MMOs. It's, an, it's nice by the looks of it that's lots of time to actually complete it so it should be good <coughs> Sorry for the sudden music. It seems to be like an ad playing. Probably I must I must have left YouTube open and the ad seems to accidentally be playing. I don't know. Oh, metal scraps. Oh, I forgot. Um, yeah, I collected some metal scraps yesterday from one of the missions. Apparently that's a thing. You can sell it and stuff. Then, 
Aura said like it, you collect isk and stuff, which is good for industrial purposes, I guess. Speaking of selling, buying, I'm going to be seeing, like looking at that, basically. Next episode I might be doing words on the screen instead of voiceover because I need to get the, the right hardware for um, live voice. So I'll do that until I get the hardware and that might take, that might be on episode 3 that um, I have the hardware of this. Eve adventure thing. Orca. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone's mm -hmm. a red yeah. orca. Uh, okay, this thing restarted me. I'll, I'll look more into it later on. <laughs> Fitting. Oh, this might. Be something that fitting might be something actually. Okay, what if I were to turn mine into a destroyer? Amari destroyer, what would that look like? Wait, what industrial? Galante. Oh, I'm not a Galante. I think I'm a like Calvary or something. Non Empire Process of the. Wait, do you press on this? No, I don't. No. Don't think you press on that. But this has the same thing. Oh, you press on it and it shows what the ship would look like, I guess. Well, that looks like a pipe. It shouldn't be an Iterion mark, it should be a sewage pipe ship. So it seems to be some sort of industrial ship, so... Cool. Cruiser, Caldery Cruiser. Uh, nah. Oh yeah, that's the thing from the ad. The Caracal Frigate. What's this? Mining barge. Huh. Mining barge. No empire. Process is Huh. Hit points. Ice harvester. Okay, now this one actually looks interesting. Oh yes, this is also another ship from the ad. The um, minor one that like zaps the oars and then appears at them. Okay, I'll leave the rest of the video to be watched without voice. And if there's anything I need to add, you can leave that down below in the comments. I might say something at the end.
warp drive active. Warp drive active. The source of the interference is nearby. It may be aboard this seeker. There's only one way to find out. Eliminate it.
Communications in this sector are back online. Good work, Captain. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.